Hola amigos, soy Rubén Chaos, piloto de Superbikes, Castro Honda Team, para el Campeonato del Mundo 2011 y hoy estamos aquí en Motorland. No os lo perdáis, en el Parque de la Emoción. Ben, it's nice to, to see you here and to discover the track with you. You didn't have the best start as possible. Uh, what are your expectations for here and for the rest of the season? Well, it's a, it's a pleasure to ride with Honda Castro, you know, the new colors again from in the past years. At the beginning, it's a lot was learning the bike and learning the situation. If you can see, even for my teammate, it was really difficult. A lucky last weekend was not so bad for me. It was uh, really Unfortunately for Jonathan, uh, for me I want to send him a really big hug and just trying to to recover really well and just come back soon because with him it's more easy to just get into the good pace. But um, hopefully with the group and with the fans here, I uh, have a, I don't know, 10, 20 percent more of a motivation to do well. This physical track because it's kind of a roller coaster, okay? You need to go fast, but rhythm, 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 rhythm. If you attack too much in the first corner, then uh, last corner in the first sector, then it could be really bad. We are on top of the hill, now we're coming down. On the TV, you will not see that much, but I can tell you and promise you that it's really kind of a course crew right now. And is it fun to, to drive in a up and down hill? Well, uh, we feel, we feel, but we don't feel. I mean, what I say is the suspension feel more than that. On the bike, what we feel a lot is that the transfer, weight transfer is a big thing. And we feel a lot of wheeling and no support in the front. That's what we feel a lot more. Ruben, I think that here is a good example of the blind corner. As you can see, we, uh, most of the track side is just cut it. Just third gear up there. But you don't know the exit, you don't know the limit, and you have no really idea what is going on. If if inside is better or outside, because it's very bumpy inside. It's the best line, but it's very bumpy. And then it's kicking you out. But if you are out, it's not so grippy. And as you can see, we can go lower level. And from here is what we can see on the bike, really. Because we are really full in angle. And at the end, we can see only the walls inside. Just the wall, this, this fence. And we are like this, and we look, and we look, and it's come on, exit, exit. Because you always just focus there. But it's also exciting. Of course, for you too. For you, it's exciting. <laughs> for us, it's a bit more tricky, but it's, it's really exciting. It is. And as you can see, we have uh, really long corners and really stop and go corners. And so the, the setup needs to be really balanced for all the situations. Before the long straight, just try to prepare that long straight as it's really long and really downhill. So if you manage to get out, bit more in the perfect position so if you open earlier then you get my maybe down at the straight four or five kilometers more right now i'm gonna have a really good fan as well the bike is gonna be ready uh no excuses anymore so hopefully enjoy with me on the bike 